the twelfth principle envisaged in mid seventies is an extremely interesting principle and it applies to all aspects of an organization. This principle says that you should constantly balance internal and external health. Today, there are organizations where HR department is practically run by consultants. You have a consultant for competence mapping, you have a consultant for assessment centers, you have a consultant for coaching, you have a consultant for performance management, name it, what not, for everything you depend on consultants and what internal HR people are doing is only managing, coordinating the work of consultants. This is very unfortunate. So, we envisaging this, we, we said, organization should perform its own tasks. That means, largely internal people should be performing this. That does not mean that you don't go to consultant, you don't seek external help. You need to constantly balance where you need external help, take the help, use it to the point, internal competencies can be built and leave at that point of time external agencies to mind their business rather than running your company. Now this is not only true with uh, HR, this is true with all aspects, whether it is finance department or manufacturing department or customer relations department or marketing department, you should be doing your own kind of things. There should be a large number of internal resources, internal people who should be performing these tasks and whenever you need, get outside help. So the ability, the need to constantly balance internal help with external help, internal resources with outside kind of uh, resources needs a very conscious effort and a continuous examination of can we do it ourselves, can we do it ourselves, where do we need and where do you think that we can take over and things of that nature. That is the way institutions can be built. So remember, almost about 40 years ago, we envisage that this kind of a situation is likely to be faced so that organizations should not become consultant dependent, they should become dependent on their own employees and their own people. So I hope you will be able to examine how you are functioning in relation to balancing external help with internal resources.